I want to talk about Jed, so let's just make this shit public. Asking me why I didn't do do certain stuff when I did. Don't sit here and call me no no damn liar. We're not. That's not. That's not what we gonna do. So, Jed, if you got something that you want to talk about, unblock me and call me. Cause like I said, keep Kanika name out your mouth. Don't send no no Mike Brown to come threaten me or talk to me or whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. Keep Kanika name out of your motherfucking mouth, period. Yeah, please Talking please. about what's my problem with Jay. He's a fucking liar and he's a fucking carn artist. Mm -hmm. Don't do not do me. <laughs> Give it a, a second. <laughs> Hold on. Got me all messed up. <laughs> Who else following this damn case? D. Who else following this case? Mm -hmm. Um. Damn it. Got my blood pressure up. Girl, let me tell you what just happened, right? So, Mike Brown called me talking about, uh, what's my problem with Jed? So, let me go live and tell y'all what my problem with Jed is since people can't read. My problem with Jed is since MTV aired this, um, series about Kanika, he wants to come on there and pop off, say, hey, y'all, come on there and pop off talking basically mad because MTV didn't put him on there. But then he gets on his live, since everybody can't read, since we've been talking about this shit already. Gets on his live talking about, you know, he talked about his theory on what happened to Kanika. He never said that, um, what actually happened, which we all know, everybody who came to those chapter meetings, who all knows that Jed said what actually happened to Kanika. He said that she was a runner. She was tired of being a runner, and she wanted to change her life. I don't know how many times we got to go through this. She wanted to change her life, and so basically she had to get her ass beat to get out of this organization or whatever that she was in, right? <clears throat> so I guess these dudes supposedly came, grabbed her, they got the fighting and shit. They, I, I guess she had, you remember her teeth are missing in the front, one of her teeth was chipped? That supposedly happened at the pool, but y'all, I wasn't there. How would, why, how would I get this? I was the only person that wasn't scared. She was never a runner. What the fuck? He big cat. Right. So he said that um they got the struggling over there by the pool. She hit her. I guess she hit her face with some shit on the pool. And well, good fucking money. Right. <laughs> too early for this shit. So she hit her face or whatever on the pool. They beat her up and it went too far. That's what this motherfucker said. He also said if anybody in the meeting ran their mouth, that he will lawyer, he will lawyer up. Right. Okay, so when MTV aired that shit, Jay gets on there and say, oh, he was um, mad and pissed off about what happened. Um, you know, he was being immature and devilish and all this shit, right? So basically, he, he came out and said he lied. When I tell y'all this motherfucker drugged my name, he lied on me, he had motherfuckers turn on me, all types of shit, right? So Mike Brown got the audacity to get on my phone to say, well, when you was on Lionel's panel, why you didn't say nothing? What? I blasted the shit everywhere. I blasted it everywhere. I'm still telling the truth to this day. I just reshared the live that we did right before we did Lionel's live. Nigga, did you tell them that you tried to pay my homegirl $600 because you were scared that I was going to release the recording of you talking at these meetings? You tried to pay us $600 to hack the fucking YouTube so that I wouldn't tell it or release the fucking video. Did you tell them that? But you still got people following you and you still got people brainwashed. So don't have nobody call my fucking phone. And you know damn well that this Kanika shit touched me. I'm sensitive when it comes to this shit. So don't do that. Don't be sending nobody in my shit. So if you got something to say, you unblock me and you reach out because you was a bald faced, bald headed, black ass liar. That's what you are. Don't send nobody to ask me shit. Don't ask nobody to send ask me shit because you was a liar. You shouldn't even be speaking on that girl's name. Period. Did her mama just say? Don't use her name in vain. She should sue your ass for even making that group. Please, Jesus. Please, please, Lord. Please. He's irrelevant. Please wrap your He's a monster. Family, He's Lord. an agent. I, nothing, nothing I don't know what happened. 
No weapon shall form. Y'all sit there. No okay. Like I said, no don't be sending nobody no to my shit form, asking me questions no why I got beef with you. That's why I got beef with you, okay? Because you a liar and you do not need to keep having that girl's name in your mouth because you was a fucking fraud. So anybody that continues to follow you, I thought you have to strengthen this Kanika case. Fuck you. They are freaks. They are fucking insane. Okay. So anybody that continues to follow you, I thought you have to strengthen this Kanika case. They are freaking insane. How dare you, Mike Brown, come in my fucking inbox asking me why do I got problems with him? Then you want to fucking pop off. Don't do me. Don't do me. You were the one that had my back when I sat there and I told everybody. Like I told you, you you defended me. But now you want to want to buck up. You don't live that far from me, nigga. Like I told you. Now you want to buck up. All them kids and all them adults that's on my cover photo, I don't play when it comes to that shit. At all. At all. So you better leave me alone. That's what you better do. That's what you better do. And as far as I know, you the one that got me blocked. So unblock me. Don't be trying to come through nobody. Don't do me. Yes, talking about what's my problem with Jed. Talking about when you came on that live, when you um got on the panel on YouTube with um Lionel, why didn't you expose all this shit then? What? I did. This shit is everywhere. On YouTube, BuzzFeed is everywhere. I don't have anything to hide. He was co-signing my shit. He the one that told, that said, oh yeah, he did say that. But now that you vice president of this fucking cult, you want to defend this motherfucker? You, Jed is the reason why me and you yeah, fell out. Oh, there. talk to him, talk to him. It ain't nothing to talk about. He's fake. He's a fraud. He's an agent. Like, come on, and you know this. You cloud chasing just like he is. Mm -hmm. He had Tammy. He had, mm -hmm. what's the man's name? Mike Brown called me through somebody and asked me what my problem is with Jed. And then she, the girl was like, y'all calm down. Let's talk like, um, he, she was like, let's, um, talk like adults or whatever. So he was like, he said some slick ass shit. Like, um, I'm not going to pop unless, um, uh, I get, I'm like, what nigga, what? Don't do that. Don't do that. When you were the main one that had my back. Oh yeah. Jess, he showed his say it. I, if I'm going to find them fucking screenshots and I'm going to post them. Don't do me. Don't do me over this case. Mike Brown and Jedediah Brown. Yes, he is. They set up a whole new group about Kanika, talking about you can't get in the group unless you got a legit page and all this. If the man lied to America and told them that Kanika was a runner, that um, all she wanted to get out and, and all this shit. Lighter. And it's that basically See? that these dudes had to beat her ass so she could get it's out, like and then the shit just thing. went too far. You know what I'm saying? And then turn around uh, two years later and say, oh, I lied. I was being devilish. But your motherfucking ass drug my name through the dirt. Had motherfuckers hating me because I didn't like you because she was a fucking when agent. I get done like, recording this. come on. Who wouldn't be mad? Like, he's messy as hell. Don't do that. Like, and I thought Mike was real. Like, he fake as hell. Like, why would you do that? And like I told y'all before this phone went out, he Jed tried to pay one of my friends $600 to hack the YouTube live because he was scared I was going to release the recording of him admitting to what actually happened to Kanika, okay? Now, after this MTV shit aired, um, he claims that he had a tip. Now, come on, y'all. We all know Jed. We all, everybody that's been following this case know Jed. Y'all know damn well if Jed had got a tip in his inbox, what would have happened? He would have screened, he would have scribbled out who sent it. He would have screenshot that bitch and posted it. He didn't get no tip. There was no tip. Unless this tip came from that, that story that you gave, came from that white girl that you, you drug into the van. Guess. When I finally put that out, inbox blew up. Yes, sister, I remember that day. I was there when that white girl showed up. Yes. So don't do me. Don't do, don't send nobody for me, nigga. You unblock you me and better. you confront me yourself. Don't do me. Because if anybody out of all of us that was passionate about this case was me. Y'all motherfuckers out here chasing money and shit. That's why your ass left Rosemont. Because Rosemont called y'all asses to call the shit off. And y'all got paid. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That's what, that's what y'all do. Y'all go out there. Y'all stir up shit. And, and these motherfuckers pay y'all to leave. That's what, that's what y'all do. That's why y'all ain't been back out there. Hey, my and that's probably why y'all went back out stuff. there to get a check. So y'all could go away. Yes, he still got me blocked. Fucking punk.
Don't sit there and have Mike Brown call me on that bullshit. What's my problem with Jed? Nigga, you know what my problem with Jed is. Don't do me. Y'all ain't passionate about shit. Y'all, y'all are real clock chasers. I chase shit that don't get attention. That's what I do. That's what I chase. Y'all don't see me out here on the fucking media and shit. Fuck that. I give attention where attention is needed. For, for families that don't get attention. For families that's out there begging for help. But y'all motherfuckers out here on the front line because there's cameras. Because y'all want to get a check. That's what I, what I do is real. Call me fake all you want. I don't put activists on my shit. I just do what I do from the fucking heart. And all of y'all are fucking frauds. And I hope Teresa sue the shit out of all of y'all. Fucking bum. Y'all been sitting here taking care of this man for two years. He's a fucking fraud. All of y'all. Freedom frauds, that's exactly what they are. Y'all been taking care of this man for fucking two years. Y'all believe in somebody that's fake. He's a fucking agent. Mm -hmm. He's sitting here to kill, steal, and to fucking destroy. He's a fucking devil. <laughs> and I'm not scared to say it. He don't run shit but his damn mouth. You be your best bet is to leave me the fuck alone. That's what you better do. Shit. Had this motherfucker call me. The fuck my problems with Jack? Nigga, you was in the comments co-signing. Yes, sis, he sure did. I was there. Oh, I can't wait to find them screenshots. Don't play me. And then got the audacity to say, why didn't I say all of this online nails live? Keep Kanika out y'all fucking mouth. That's what y'all need to do. Shit. Jed does not have a tip. He's just in his feelings because he wasn't asked to be on that show. That's all it is. That's what he mad about. The thing that pissed me off was, how dare you sit there, drag my fucking name like everybody that's been on this bitch that's been riding with me. Y'all know, like, I fucking cried. Like, I was so fucking hurt behind this case. Y'all hear me? Like, I was so fucking hurt behind this case, and I'm still fucking hurt behind this case. When I tell you that motherfucker dragged me, y'all, like, come on. Calling me all kinds of lies. Not an agent. All, I don't know what you're talking about. But calling me all kinds of lies. Like, oh, I'm lying. And had people talking mad shit about me. Like, all types of shit. And just to hear him say that he lied. Y'all actually thought that I was going to sit back and not say nothing? You crazy. Keep Kanika name out of your mouth. Like, Come on, like, I, I feel like the whole damn world need to go to that man's group and fucking, the, fucking report that shit. That's fucking fraud. You and Sheena got into it with Jay. Right! He the reason why me and Sheena fell out. He the reason why everybody fell out. If y'all go back and watch the live that I shared, uh, he told TJ and Mello that I said that he was um, only fucking with them to get money or some shit, and I hadn't even talked to them. But he failed to realize that TJ and them had my fucking phone number. And when TJ was like, all right, let me call her, then he, he switched up that, that whole shit because he didn't know I fucked with them like that in the background. See? Come on, man. I been scared to watch him. Y'all thought I was just being negative. Not me, Kia. I... From day one, I told y'all I don't follow behind bullshit. And then once I started seeing the bullshit, I was airing that shit. I don't play that shit for this reason right here. The shit started off genuine. That's how it goes. Send it to my inbox. That's how that shit go. But then that shit started going left. Jazz started getting real fucking messy. And I think that shit started getting real fucking messy. I think we had moved on from that Kanika shit. But I know it's some shit that popped off with that, um, that damn Jackson case. And money and shit. Talking about Sheena was holding shit like come on man y'all better leave me the fuck alone that's all i know i had to put it out there use a damn fraud use an agent and y'all obviously can't fucking read so he, he sends mike means, brown over there to you know me what she don't means. send nobody you like got something to say for the hotel and, call and, me. They and they paying don't him do me. don't do that expose what happened and it's sad I don't That's think that black. was ever been your mother. That could have been his mom. That could have been his right. cousin. Right, you talking about Andrew, um, Andrew Holmes? That's how I think about stuff. Like, that could have been my child. He's always been out. What? Yeah, that could have been his really child. Like his anyway. That could have been his oh, sister. Yeah, the Jason that could have been his girl. niece. Jed, what she is wrong with you? That's what the, real, the real reason why everybody fell out. Oh, I'm still here. He's still being yeah, Andrew Holmes. Hey, and I just reached yeah, that yeah, shit with Andrew man. Holmes. Him and oh, um, Will Callaway stood behind money. Andrew Holmes, behind that whole bullshit. They co-signed his whole bullshit, saying that Kanika walked into that damn freezer. Oh, he saw he it on there. Been doing them, but we trying are, to get girl, money, can, make money out of these cases. You see, Behind the rest of that. 
You need and help, the day, dude. The that you can go got against your own. Fuck that. Ooh. I don't like yep, that. Like I guess Will Calloway said, you know what? I ain't with this shit. I'm gone. Will, Will Calloway disappeared. Will Calloway disappeared after Jamal had did that interview with Andrew Holmes. We really heard nothing from um, Jamal no more. But who stayed on the front line, Jed? And then on top of that, it was like, uh, what's, the, what's that man's name? Um, the, the preacher dude, uh, Andre. He even said that he was called get, getting calls from the hotel to take money. He was getting threats and shit. And that right there fucking made shit true. So if they call in Andre to take a pay to leave... Why wouldn't they call Jed and Lamont and them to take a pay to leave? Why Why did you Why did you really leave? So, so don't blame it on Teresa. Don't put it on Teresa. Teresa, the reason why y'all left, fuck that. I would have given, if Kanika was so important to y'all, y'all asses would have still been out there. The same way they called Andre, they, they called y'all asses too, and you took that motherfucking check. Because next thing I know, this motherfucker traveling. Because donations ain't coming in that good. Motherfucker traveling. Damn, uh, buying new cars. They sure did. She found out they were taking money from. Crazy. But like I said, because I got shit to do, and I got a sick child, and I'm about to take him to the damn doctor, but I needed to let y'all know. Don't be sending nobody to me. You got something to say, you fucking unblock me yourself, and you call me if you have any fucking questions. Guess until the day that I die, you are a fucking agent, you are a fucking fraud, and you are sent into these black communities when shit pop off with us. You are sent to cause chaos. You are sent to cause chaos. And then you, you leave. That's what you do. And that's what you continue to do. And yes, I am pissed the fuck off at the fact that you got on your live and you sat there and you basically said that you lied about your so called theory when it wasn't a theory when you said that's what actually happened. And you full of shit and you gonna always be full of shit. You ain't shit. Bye. Okay, you're done.